Hi there, I'd like to walk you through a purchase process using Big Commerce integrated with Acumatica Commerce Edition. So here you can see that I'm logged into an instance of Acumatica 2019 R2. I'm also on a Big Commerce demo site. Obviously, this site is connected to Acumatica. And then I'm also logged into the back end of the Big Commerce site. I'm in the admin where you would actually manage the Big Commerce store. I'm on the site right now as an anonymous user, meaning that I'm not logged into the website. If we go to the cameras area and let's pull up this Nikon D7500. As an anonymous user, I can see information here about the camera and this information that I see, the title, the price information, these images, even the description, inventory levels, all of that information is coming from the ERP. So I have the camera pulled up here um, as well. Notice that the description, um, which is the product title, the actual uh, product description here, the e-commerce information, all of this is stored inside the ERP. It can be managed inside the ERP and updates to this information will flow back out to uh, Big Commerce. Now, if it were important to the merchant to, let's say for instance, they wanted to manage the description inside of Big Commerce instead of managing it here in the ERP, it's totally fine. The system is built to be very flexible, so you can turn those kinds of fields on and off easily. It doesn't require a developer. You don't need any external resources. Um, it's, it's with a very easy to configure window inside of Acumatica. Okay, so as a customer, I'm looking at this product, it's $14.99, and then I realize I'm not logged in. So let's go ahead and uh, log into the system. I'm going to log in as a business customer. And let's go back to that camera. We'll pull it up again.